Got you, buddy. Jump! Golly! It's, oh my gosh, it's a giant. Please stay on. Oh, please stay on, baby. It ain't a five, I don't think, but it's a big one. <laughs> That's a stud, either way. <laughs> Just barely skin hooked right there in the top of the mouth. Unreal. Hey guys, Joey C. Fuentes here. Just finished up St. Clair and we got the win. We got the blue trophy. Um, I'm gonna tell you about my setup and what I was using. I was using a drop shot. So basically what I was using is a seven foot Fantasy X rod, Abbott Garcia, had a new Revo reel. I had Berkeley. Uh, 10 pound X5 braid, tied an FG knot, then I went to Berkeley 100% fluorocarbon 8 pound test. So on my hook, I used the uh, Berkeley Fusion 19. This is a number two, it fits the flat worm perfect. I had about a two foot um, distance between it and my drop shot with a quarter ounce weight. So a little trick that I learned uh, recently was soaking my flatworms in gulp. So that just gives it a little extra flavor and I think it helps get you more bites. So I get me a, I get me a container of gulp and I dip them in there and soak them and it just seems to get more bites. So it's pretty cool. So I won two tournaments this year on a drop shot, but both of them were really different setups. So here at St. Clair, I was nose hooking the bait you know, more finesse, we got really clear water and that's the great way to get a lot of hookups in that. I didn't have anything around me that, that was gonna cause me to get hung up. So so this was just an open hook, uh, pretty basic, you know, open water drop shot rig. Now, when I was at Seminole, I was fishing out on a lot of trees, so I had to rig that weedless. So I had a, a straight shank worm on there and with the hook hidden in the worm so I didn't get hung on the trees and that kept me um, out of that stuff. So that was the, really the main difference between the two rigs, but excellent to catch a lot of fish on. So the unique part about my spot was the tall grass on that and I, I found that with my live scope. When I, was, when I drifted through that area, I found a lot of tall cabbage. So what was going on on my screen was I was looking in that cabbage and there would be smallmouth suspended on that or close to the, the bottom. There was some extra grass on the bottom too but that's what I was doing. In my, my specific area, it didn't have a lot of fish, but it had a lot of big fish. So I was constantly on the trolling motor trying to find those fish and hunting them down and pitching the drop shot at them to catch them. Trying to double down in his rookie season from Arkansas, the Cowboy, Joey C. Fuentes. Boom shakalaka, ch -ch 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 giant bass. 23 pounds, 13 ounces, 23, 13. And with that, the cowboy Joey Cifuentes is one angler away from becoming a two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. The Avco Bassmaster Elite at Lake St. Clair belongs to the cowboy Joey Cifuentes. A two-time Bassmaster Elite Series champion. His rookie season and Joey Cifuentes doubles down on the Bassmaster Elite Series. <laughs>